all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel imagining tech if you're new here please go ahead and like and subscribe i'm very excited to do today's video because i have made the decision to become a decentralized liquidity network provider so basically what that means is i will be buying eos based tokens on top of the Bancor decentralized liquidity network in order to receive passive income off of all of the conversions that get that take place inside of the relay this is very exciting and i've been thinking about it for a while and my strategy i believe is i'm going to take my ethereum tokens convert them into bnt tokens that i can then use to stake inside the bnt esdt token relay the reason I chose the BNT ESDT token relay is because the ESD token is a stable cryptocurrency built on top of the EOS blockchain. Now, why I think that is important is because EOS is the most scalable, high throughput blockchain that exists today, much more so than Ethereum, which Ethereum is also part of the Bancor protocol. And a whole bunch of Ethereum tokens are listed on the Bancor protocol, but I felt that it would be important for me to pick a stable token that is built on top of the EOS protocol for two main reasons. The first one being it makes things a whole lot more simple because you have one asset that can appreciate up and down, being in this case, the BNT token. The BNT token can go up or it can go down. But as long as nothing happens to the peg for the ESDT token, it should always remain relatively close to a dollar because that is a stable currency's function. So it makes it pretty low risk for me as a long term BNT holder. I can be assured that I'm going to still get my passive income and not lose out on any uh, and not have to take on any other risk as far as a whole nother token that I might not be sure about. So for me, the BNT ESD token makes sense. Not only that is, is if you watch my videos, you know how bullish I am on decentralized exchange and how important I think decentralized exchange will be to the overall crypto ecosystem at large. So being that this is a stable cryptocurrency that is built on top of the EOS blockchain, which is highly scalable with a high throughput and fearless transactions, I really believe that people, once they start putting all their transactions on chain, they will migrate to something like EOS. So EOS will have some of the first exchanges that are completely decentralized that have as much or more volume than we see current centralized exchanges have today. So I'm actually extremely bullish on this. So that's why I was super excited to make this video for you guys. So let me go ahead and push forward and keep showing you guys exactly how to do it because it's not really too hard so if you have a Bancor wallet set up like I do you can use your Bancor wallet or you can use scatter as well as Trezor and ledger so you have a little bit of options guys but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Bancor wallet so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the top of the screen where it hit, says convert go ahead and hit convert And as you can see, I have six ETH, 6.071 ETH. So I'm just gonna use one of my Ethereums and I'm going to click down here where it says EOS. And when all the tokens pop up, go to the search bar and type BNT and all of the relay tokens should pop up. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put the E because I'm gonna do the ESDT token relay there it is bingo and as you can see 187 and 19 cents is what my ethereum is worth and this is the amount of relay tokens that it buys me and this is the price slippage i'm cool with all that all right good to go Enter your password, blah, 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 blah. 
I am not a US citizen. Now it should be sending my transaction to the blockchain. Perfect. It says transaction in process. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my wallet. And it is going to take a little bit longer than a normal transaction would take on EOS just because it has to convert my Ethereum first into BNT. And then from there, it can do the transaction all on EOS. And Ethereum is a little bit slower than EOS. It's actually a lot slower, but. So yeah, that there you go. You can, as you can see, my conversion is taking place. It pops up right here, and pretty soon I will have more BNT ESDT tokens. So, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I said, this is can be risky. Definitely do your research before you just buy any relay tokens. I tried to make this video as simple as possible by buying only one token that can appreciate and depreciate and combining that with a stable token so definitely do your research this is risky if you're not aware of what you're doing you can definitely lose money guys also be aware that if you are in the united states you will not be able to participate in this Bancor will not allow you to do it unless you are using some sort of vpn if you don't have a vpn and you're interested in a good one I will go ahead and link in the description box the one that I use. It's called TorGuard. It's a really quality VPN, so if you need one, go ahead and check that out. Use my link in the description, and you can actually get half off for it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, guys. If you guys appreciated this video, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you're new here. Remember, hashtag Dex only.